Hello everyone, my name is Bindu and in this video I am going to talk about Row Level Security in SQL Server 2016. Let's start this video by understanding what a Row Level Security is. Row Level Security in simple terms is giving access to the user to view certain records in a table instead of viewing the entire table. It's very a common scenario for a DBA to grant or deny access to a table or object in SQL Server. But what if you want to give access to a user to read the table, instead you want him to read only few records instead of the entire table, all the records in the table. In that case you use this row level security RLS. So row level security is nothing but granting the user permissions to view certain records, few records in the table rather than allowing him to view all the records in the table. To implement this row level security, you need to follow certain steps in SQL Server. First step would be creating the predicate function. Once you create the predicate function, you identify the security predicates. Then you uh, create a security policy. Let's talk about each of the step in detail now. Predicate function. Predicate function is nothing but an inline table valued function. Using this predicate function, we will be able to check if a user who is executing the query has access to uh, view the data or not. If the user has access, the function returns one for each row. So this is the first step in row level security and once you create this, you identify the security predicates. There are two types of security predicates in SQL Server. First one is filter predicate and block. second is block predicate. Uh, let's talk about this uh, these security predicates once we get into the demo. Uh, once you identify the security predicates, you create a security policy. Security policy is created by binding the security predicates and predicate function we created in the first two steps. Let's go into the demo now. For the demo purpose, I created a database called demo and created a table dbo.person in the database and I inserted few records in the table. I also created three users, user CS, user EC and user IT and here uh, what I want to achieve is if I run the query as user CS, I want to retrieve rows which have user access as user CS. If I run the query as user IT, I want to retrieve rows which has uh, user access as user IT. Let's see how we'll be able to uh, get this result using row level security. Uh, the first step to implement row level security is to create a predicate function. So let's create a predicate function now. And I created the predicate function. This is just an inline table valued function. And this function, it results one whenever a user who is executing the query has access to uh, has access to the rows and the next step is to create the security policy in this uh, query i'm identifying the filter predicate and um, creating the security policy with state on you'll have this state on whenever you want to enable the security policy you can always disable the security policy by turning the state to off uh, when you don't want the security policy to be applied. Right now, because I want this to be enabled, I'm creating it with uh, state on. And that's all. Once you create the predicate function and create the security policy, your row level security is implemented. You can just query the uh, table now. Do the select star from person. You'll not be able to see any records here because I'm executing this query as myself. If you want to see the records uh, for user CS, execute the query as uh, user CS or user IT and you'll be able to see the records which have user I access as user IT here and change the change this query to user CS, execute as user CS and you should be able to see the records which have user access as user CS. So this is how you implement a row level security. Uh, to implement the block predicate, you alter the security policy you created previously and add a block predicate to the security policy. Here I am adding the block predicate to the person table after insert. So this means when I um, 
create this when I create this block predicate on the security policy if I um, insert into the table into the person table as the same user it lets me insert the record but if I insert the record for a different access for a different user access it throws me an error saying that I'm not allowed to insert a record for a different user so in this way you'll be able to block the DML operations for the users so this is how you implement row level security for a block predicate and for filter predicate let's talk about the limitations of row level security now just like any other new feature even the row level security has certain limitations some of the limitations of this row level security are um, for creating the predicate function you always need to include with schema binding so if you create a security policy without having the with schema binding then it throws an error so this is one limitation and um, you cannot create indexed views on the tables which have uh, security policy on which has in which has this row level security implemented on so even when the tables have in the indexed views on you will not be able to create row level security on such tables you have to drop the indexed views and then you will be able to create the row level security and in memory tables are not supported for row level security and uh, even the full text indexes are not supported you can create full text indexes on the tables that have row level security but there will be data leakage even uh, if you filter the rows using the row level security when someone searches using the full text indexes they will not be able to filter only those specific rows so there will be there are chances for data leakage so these are the limitations these are some of the limitations of row level security